Well, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off happened last time, we have got a significant portion of the uh, Swedish Empire under siege. But the first order of business is to tackle this army under Anders Svensson, which is currently behind our lines. I could, or I would have auto-resolved it, but it will attrit Vito Sparrow's army, which I do not want, as they are about to assault Cologne. But let's fight this manually and destroy this army behind our front lines. Yeah, this campaign is... it's going pretty well. I've still got all those Swedish armies I'll have to worry about. But then again, I might have to worry about them if I go for the cities. Because then those, those armies will uh, remove themselves from existence. Okay, good position up here for an artillery battery. I mean, you don't get good coverage behind this ridge, but I'll accept that. So let's take one infantry formation to get direct artillery support. Let's get four infantry to clear the far side of the ridge. And let's deploy our cavalry. Probably with my general as well. To clean up any leftovers. I mean, I am getting reinforcements, but I am really do not want to use them. Charging, they are squares. You square counter charge the regiment of horse with my generals and bodyguard. That regiment of horse took a volley. First order of business. Infantry, push up and take them out. Deploy our cavalry to fight these battles because we've got a bit of a hit. Let's get my general out of there. Get you guys back in the square. You guys don't worry about being in square formation because we've got a bucket of support for you guys. Run around, my guys! Uh, let's keep this unit mobile. Okay, let's get this line infantry out of square. You guys into line to try and assault the men who wronged you. Okay, the regiment of horse have been destroyed. Ooh, I hear those. Sh I hear shrapnel shot. Do a lot of damage to these dragoons because we've got that they're almost entirely engulfed in our swarm of almost entirely cavalry. We might actually destroy them. And we did. Get our regiment of horse in against the general's bodyguard. It's been my hussars around to hit that regiment of horse. Charge my cavalry in to go hit their general, because right now he is exposed. Let's run 
and this general's bodyguards straight through. Yeah, there we go. So, Vito's going to take some attrition because he's going to have lost a unit from his Curacier force. Kill the general. Stop our artillery fire from doing anything too dangerous. There you go, get these guys around the corner. You go after the artillery. These guys hunker down. Wait for these squares to break. To be honest, pound them with artillery. You don't really have a good view. You have to lob them in from range. Oh, they're like aiming. They're aiming at the general. I mean, I definitely gave you a target of this unit. If you're going to do that, let's turn the artillery off. You might engage the militia because they're about to come back. Specifically turn that unit. And then this is the only unit left on the field who is we're going to take some friendly fire from that speed up time and then let's uh, continue halt fire my cavalry do the work good this is what you get, Sweden. This is what you get for taking a load of cities that we didn't own, but we wanted to in the future. You should have thought about that. Close victory. So, you'd be curious to see where they route to. Good. Okay, they route the same way they came in. Good stuff. Tempting to run these guys in a straight shot towards Hanover. Holy... Oh, God. If you guys go in and tag Hanover, we have every remaining Swedish city under siege, which means in fight a series of battles, if we fight one, two, three, four, five battles... Oh, no! It's not in yet. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, get you guys out of there. Get you guys up. This Italian force. Get them aboard ship. Question is, can we attack? Oh, good God! And slash, do we want to? Um, I'm going to click on Decline. Okay, so we're not going to destroy all of Sweden in one go. But we're going to be damn close. So we're not, we're unlikely to need more men in Europe. Okay, so let's spend... Knowing what we know now, let's get some recruitment done. So I can recruit eight units. We're recruiting six line infantry. I'd like some skirmishers, but we are... Hey, Verona. When did you get raided? Or did you get sabotaged? Rookie's right, Rookie's trying. Hmm. 
Oh, they rioted. They rioted and broke the university. Okay. I I I hear you. Bring back the cavalry. And I bring that unit of militia back. Okay, that militia did turn the tide. But let's get a sloop to help them out. Let's also get a, a upgraded port and some upgraded industrials. Do we go for an army staff college? Not from not in Lisbon. Well not in Rome, I don't think. Okay, so my glorious plan to destroy Sweden in one turn is actually going to culminate in quite a significant battle. Because this do not they do not have walls, and unless they get on and build some, we have to kill all of these men. Okay. But at the very least, I've put I'll have pushed the Swedish troops, or the remnants up here, into a big pocket in Copenhagen. Pair the Royal Academy. Okay, if that's the case, let's just push you up. Let us take line infantry out, put some field artillery in, get you guys on the bridge. Let's pick up a general here, and he is going to bring some infantry support. These howitzers are tr want to catch up with him. Um, okay, I think the best thing to do is let's start from Amsterdam and work our way east. So let's take Ludi Ludovico Scopoli and let's go and take Amsterdam. I mean, I'm not going to get this all done in one episode. Uh, this is going to be a couple of episodes. <laughs> um, but it would it's broken the back of the the Swedish Empire. Then once we've cleaned up once we've cleaned up Central Europe and Denmark, then we can put our forces on the on our eastern borders and push towards Russia. We can keep building up troops in Spain and England, sail around to go and hit uh, Sardinia then when they've been destroyed that will be a very good landing point probably to go take out the uh, to go take out the Knights of St. John okay let's pick up our artillery so I've deployed my field artillery here to try and get an angle on an angle through here and an angle through here because we've got a lot of cavalry back here I'm going to want two infantry units to go into each breach. Which means my assault force is looking a bit weaker than usual. So we'll need to soften them up a little bit more. I hide them all in these two trees. Oh, I can actually, they do hide. These all okay. There's a, there's a marine unit holding down the side. Good. They're all hidden. <laughs> Do you see anything? Nah. It's just a couple of trees. That's fine. <laughs> then general in the centre. Okay. Change you guys to cast shot. This heavy horse artillery is going to do. It's going to do real good stuff. So let's begin softening up. We don't get as much coverage on the other breach from our howitzers as we would normally do. Should we give them new orders just to make sure they do actually carry on shooting? Oh, I 
smash that up. So back in the city, they do have lots of cavalry, but it's the mortars that are a concern. They do have some. There they are. The artillery itself isn't the concern. There's nothing to see over there. The funny thing is, I suppose if you were fighting this battle, you would think I've hidden my men in these trees and I've pushed them up, ready to push and storm quickly. There in comes the delicious quick line. So we're going to knock this, uh, knock this section of the wall down pretty rapidly. I mean, it's five artillery pieces per team. We're unfortunately not likely to kill the militia. I would imagine. I mean, they can't make their mind up on where they want to go exactly, so we might get some. And more quick climb comes in. Good stuff. The last volley's got to come in soon. A couple of the guns didn't fire. Ooh, delicious. Focus fire on those units because they're going to be very good. Very nicely, nice and efficient kills. Let's see if how it does do actually target themselves. There's the breach made, so let's go get to work on the next. Handily though, it looks like they're about to go and sit here and take positions ready to defend the breach. Which is what we want to see. Are these guys going to actually knock out that section of the wall? How is this firing? I want to see if they get any. Good, they are aiming at the right people. Some of them are. We've started knocking holes in the next entrance to the fort. I mean, the big risk here is going to be I'm going to need to push these men up to the breaches to draw the artillery, the howitzer fire, before I move them out. Otherwise they're going to die very, very quickly. She aim for right here. Artillery is still doing good work. Yeah, right now until we get the the holes in the wall the way we'd like and the quick climb damage done we need to get done. Vitlis is finally getting hurt. These guys are getting hurt, which is good stuff. Once the hole in the once this breach is made, I then target these guys to bombard this section here because they'll get a lot of kills doing that. More quick lime comes in. They are just being obliterated from the miracles of modern science. There we go. So we've taken out the the other breach. So just get my artillery to sit here, lob lobbing shells at the, uh, the breach here. And apart from that, I think with oh, can you guys? You can round shot into the Lancer guards. Start doing that. 
because we need to begin the push. I don't, I'm pretty sure they've only just got the one mortar. At least while well, Howard's is dropping round shot in, some nearby misses might knock out other artillery and the uh, some gun teams. So Howitzers did fire. There we go. The mort okay, our mort their mortars have fired. What the hell is that? Where did all they come from? <laughs> Scatter! Get two of our units to go back to Quickline. Yep, they know. Get a light one of these. Okay, get the first mine unit to go here. Give you some support. Get you up onto here. Get you guys up onto here. These two run forward, and their job is to get into position, then dump into square at the last possible minute. to suck in the uh, lancers. One of these guys should be... Job round shot on the mortars. And my marines should deal with these lancers pretty good. Then they're going to deploy and cover this section. It looks like they're deploying more. Try to see if my fuel if my fuel artillery can lob shells into the centre. pick. Okay, we're hitting them with canister, with quick, with a... Uh... Okay, that's what the Lancer Guards are actually going to commit now regardless. And now they're going to come after us. Horse is getting hammered. Yeah, I thought so. You guys, or well, one of you, dump into square. These men get out of dodge and climb up the gatehouse from this secure point. So you guys run across to take it. You inside the command HQ, get you inside the armory. No. You guys can get in here the normal way. No, I told you guys as well to get out of the way. Keep our cavalry out here, if they're going to be weird getting in. Are 
you guys get up here. These marines are almost up. Sending militia in to come and try to take us out. These are the kind of shots we want, because they're getting some good shots into the flank of these dragoons, and these dragoons here are getting shot at as well. If these guys are up on the wall completely, which it looks like they are, they'll take up firing positions. Enemy general has been struck down by round shot. to that unit with quicklime to open the way for our infantry to pour in the front. Picking away at their mortar crews, which is nice. Our marines are up on the firing point here to engage the Lancer guards. So they switched to quicklime, but they didn't attack them. I the command HQ. Can you continue to round shot in the center? Everyone who's within range, let's hit them. Hit them. are up as well. And this goes bayonet charge out of the building. They're doing quite well. Oh, there's still cuirassiers out here, eh? Okay, let's bring these marines around here. Yeah, so that that was the that was my concern about sending them out to fight the dragoons. Bring my general up. Let's break a unit of cavalry away. You guys can try and get into, into square formation. Yeah, I can hear there. cast a fire. So you guys, instead of shooting to the back of these combats, you can actually now get out and help them out. My infantry in the centre are broken, but that's okay. We've got some cavalry that's going to do the business, and we've also got some more infantry that are also going to help out. As well as these units of marines that are going to save the day against these cuirassiers. Is from firing. Get these marines down. These other chaps are finally 
succumbed to our bayonets. Get our household cavalry involved. These guys, yeah, you still need to be in square. You guys get over here and knock out that horse artilleryman. I'm not really bothered about charging those men in. Take them out. Good stuff. These marines, if they're not going to do anything very quickly, they can charge that unit of line. Although, that's it. That's the oh, nearly the ball game. There it is. Good stuff. Amsterdam is ours. Ah, stop shooting. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. The, uh, yeah, the Swedish back has been broken. We lost 800 men. That's more than I would like. But as we've said before, we do have some flexibility when it comes to troop needs. I mean, we might start to run out of money before we run out of troops. But there we are. Because that's, that's the Amsterdam secured. Then let's take Vito Spero, who lost his cuirassiers, and go and attack Cologne. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. Ha <laughs> ha, I spotted it. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for just more devastation with the Swedish Empire. The end is nigh. Cheers everyone. <laughs>